Welcome to Resolume 7.22. In this video, I will guide you through all the new features in our latest update. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Columns got a whole lot of love over the last couple of months. Columns now have a dedicated button to trigger the column. The look of the button can be changed through the view menu. Additionally, you can now drag and drop columns around. With this comes the possibility to select but not trigger a column. Columns now have beat snap. This allows you to trigger them in sync with the BPM. With this update, columns and clips behave much alike. You can select them without triggering them. Because of this change, the next and previous column buttons now skip empty columns, just like empty clips have always been skipped by the autopilot and the next and previous buttons. This is an important change to be aware of when using them. If you need a column that displays nothing, you can either add a transparent or black clip. This can be easily done by right-clicking a clip and selecting Insert Blank. Additionally, we have added a column panel. This panel can be accessed through the view menu. The column panel allows you to set the column actions. Column actions are another new feature that allow you to set the autopilot action on that specific column. Arena and Avenue are getting a big update to the autopilot system. The autopilot can now be set on a composition, group, layer or clip level. Let's have a look at the layer panel. In the layer panel, we can now set a duration. This duration can be set to clip transport with the option to set the number of loops. Alternatively, we could link the duration to a number of beats or even a preset amount of time. The autopilot can now also be controlled on a composition and group level. Additional duration modes are available for these autopilots. The master layer can be used to control an autopilot with the duration settings of a given layer. We have expanded the amount of autopilot actions available to clips and autopilot duration settings can now be set on a per clip level. These actions are also available on a column level through the new column panel. What it all comes down to is that the autopilot has become a serious powerhouse feature in Resolume Arena and Avenue and has way too many tricks up its sleeve for this release video. So in order to learn all about this new and improved autopilot, check out the autopilot tutorial. A link will be in the video description. Moving on to the next arena feature. Resolume Arena and Avenue now have the option to apply LUTs to your footage. LUTs, also known as lookup tables, are commonly used for quick color corrections. Think of them as Instagram filters for your footage. To learn more about using LUTs, check out our Wire and Arena LUT tutorials. Links are in the video description. With this update, you are now able to drag and drop multiple clips at once. You've been asking for it, and now it's here. New columns will be created where needed. We've made some fancy visualizations to help you see what goes where. The next feature was a request from the community. We've added the option to hide the clip speed on the layer interface. Many of you told us horror stories where you were scrolling through your layers during a show and ended up adjusting playback speed by accident. Now you can simply hide the slider through the view menu. This will also hide the master speed slider for good measure. Global transport options have been added to Resolume Arena and Avenue. The settings are found under the Composition tab. You have the option to include or exclude timelines. BPM Sync and Timeline will be the new default setting from now on. When resyncing your composition, timelines will also be reset. Previously, only BPM Sync parameters would be reset. Here is the behavior in BPM Sync and Timeline mode. Note how both the clip timeline and the parameter are resynced. This is the old behavior where only the BPM Sync parameter is resynced. Both are valid ways to run your show, and now you can set it per composition. Moving on to Wire. Resolume Wire is getting a big update to the resource system. We are introducing resource types for video, images, LUTs, and ISF shaders. 
This allows you to create patches that can load resources into wire by using three new input nodes, video in, image in, and LUT in. On the arena side, these will show up as parameters where the user can load in their own files. Make sure to check out our tutorial on the resource types to learn all the ins and outs of this new type. Again, a link will be in the video description. Resolume Wire got some cool editing shortcuts to speed up your workflow. This update introduces multi-editing for notes. You can now change the name, value or color of multiple notes at the same time. Here I have a couple of color in notes that I have tweaked while making this patch. I am ready to ship the patch and want to default them all to white. Simply select the notes and set the color in the note panel. Note that you can still edit individual values by hitting the multi-edit icon over here. Keeping with the theme of setting values, you can now use the shift key to set the value of a multi-component float value. That is a really fancy way of saying, look at this fractal noise note. When I hold down shift and drag, all values change. The same is true for setting a value and hitting shift plus enter to confirm it for all components. The bool in note can now be set to piano mode. This will change the toggle button into a trigger button. The node will output true while the button is being held. And time for one final update for all you workflow wizards out there. You can now use the arrow keys to jump between nodes. Happy patching! And that was all for now. Make sure to check out the dedicated tutorial videos of each new feature. Drop your questions in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.